Good day, fine people. According to my calculations, there's only one thing preventing me from driving this car, and that would be a gas pedal. Let's do that. I have a selection of gas pedals to choose from. Thanks to Ted sent me these two. Now these are obviously designed for a modern car with a cable. I'm not running a cable. So what I'm going to try and do is just utilize the pedal that I made for the rat rod. It's got a solid bar going to the carburetor. So basically that would mount on the dash roughly like that. And the pedal pulls it back and forward. Now, I've got a feeling this pedal is going to be too short, judging by how long the brake pedal had to be. But that's okay, because I can just chop off one of the ends of this, chop that round thing off, weld this bit on, then I've got a nice square pedal that will match my brake pedal. So the first thing I'll do is, I'll install this and see if it's going to work. I might have to extend this bar a little bit, and by extend I mean replace. Hopefully I've still got some of that steel tubing left. So let's let's mount this onto the cab first and see where I need to drill the hole in the firewall. So this is my throttle link bar which is going to get attached in there with this little linky thing. So if I line that up there the bar will want to go approximately through that corner right there. Just below it, if I want it straight with the carb, just on the edge of that corner. That makes it nice and awkward for me. Right, let's uh, drill a hole. Now, I know from previous experience that the, the hole I drill will need to be kind of elongated up and down. Because as this pulls, it goes like that. So, one elongated hole coming up. I drilled my hole, I've not elongated it at the moment because I'm not absolutely sure if it's going to need to be elongated up the way or down the way. I won't really know that until I attach the, the pedal. So let's move on the inside and see what we have to do. So I had planned to use my original rat rod pedal that I made. If I mount it there, I need to extend this. If I mount it up here, I need to modify it. So then I thought, let's try one of those other pedals that I've got. And would you Adam and believe it? I was to mount that roughly there. I might even get away with a little swivel in there, nut and bolt kind of deal, because that would slip over there. And it would bolt on around there. And I think there's actually enough I think there's enough throw there and the pedal is pretty much where I'd like it so I'm going to play with this for now see what I can come up with back in a sec so this might actually work I need to elongate the hole in the firewall up the way a little bit as you can see it immediately starts going up And then I'll know if I've got enough travel between there and there. I think there will be. And then I can just bend this down a bit to match this pedal. But we'll see. We'll, uh, we'll do that hole first. Well, that was the easiest install ever. It pulls it all the way. It doesn't hit the floor. So I think the only thing I have to do right now is start up, eh? It's easier with the steering wheel in, something to grab. Right, yeah, so I need to, I do need to bend the gas pedal down a little bit, it's a bit pointy at me. Feels pretty good though. Right, I've probably flooded it by now.
Wait a minute. I undid a... I undid an earth cable. Let me get that back on. Okay, take two. Gas. Squirt, squirt. What do you think? Wheels? Go for a drive? Oh, I should try the brake, shouldn't I? Brake's too soft. We need to sort this. It's getting ridiculous. Car sounds good though. Now, right, while I'm waiting on all your fantastic suggestions, let's try and fix this fuel leak. Seems to be turning red. Maybe it's bleeding. Anyway, I'm pretty sure the leaks are coming from these little mixture screw gaskets. Now I looked them up, I could only seem to find a set of uh, the actual bleeder valves with the gaskets for like $25 and I'm not paying that for two gaskets. I'm pretty sure that's all I need. Now as it turns out these little o-rings are not rubber like I thought they were, they're actually made of cork. Which is interesting because I just happen to have a roll of cork gasket material which looks perfect thickness. Now this seems a bit ridiculous, I'm going to take a chunk of this out just to make two tiny little holes. But again, Scottish, I'm going to make this work. In fact I might just make hundreds of them and sell them for like five dollars each. Still half the price of uh, getting them online. <laughs> Let's see how I got on with this. I'm hoping that fuel isn't going to pee out of this when I take it out. Not that that's a problem, considering fuel's been peeing out of it anyway. One mixture screw. Use my little pick to try and get this piece of garbage out. There we go. Completely saturated and swollen. Right, let's see if we can replicate that. <laughs> Fun times. Here is my bonkers plan. I'm going to drill holes in this cork gasket material. Many as I like, I've got plenty of it. And the hole I will be choosing will be slightly smaller than the diameter of the adjustment screw so it's a nice snug fit. For the exterior hole I'm going to sacrifice one of these little socket hex thingies words. Anyway I'm going to sharpen it down so that it's slightly larger than that because obviously this one's a bit loose. So once I've got this sharpened I can locate the hole I've drilled and then punch it out and I'll try that a few times until the, I've made sure that that hole's centred and that should be it. So I'll let me go and grind this down back in a jiffy. Right, got my drill, got my cork, got my little punch that I've made. Let's see how many times before I get it right.
Right, we have a couple of candidates that are kind of centered. I'll go and squish them in and see if they do anything. Right, my little stingy Scotsman gaskets are in. The only way to tell really if it's going to leak again is to see if there's a puddle after I start it and let it run for a wee while and then leave it. So that's what I'll do. And now we wait. Meanwhile, might as well throw the wheels on, eh? You know what I have to do now, don't you? I need to test the brakes. Oops. Brakes work. Forward and reverse works. Oh, I forgot to try the steering. I better go back and do it. Nah. No, I, I really need to wait and make sure there's no fuel filling up the, the area down there. I'm pretty happy for now. Brakes definitely work. I think I might just I either need to bleed it more or I need a return spring in the brake just so that it doesn't feel so soft. But they definitely work, obviously. Happy days, and the sun's come out. Awesome. So everything's working, but pretty much everything needs some fine tuning. The carb needs to not leak, 
the steering needs the steering column needs to come up five or six inches. Brakes need to figure that one out. But technically I could go for a drive around the block, but I'm not insured. Ooh, better get insurance. Right. Uh, thanks for watching. Any suggestions on all these uh, adjustments that I need to do? Fire away. Happy for your comments. Don't know what to do. Next. So excited. It's an actual car now. <sighs> anyway, thanks for your help. And I will see you in the next one, which might be tomorrow or the day after. Who knows?